U.S. says the U.S. government says the bulk of the independent corrupt practices and other related offenses commission ICPC and Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC anti-corruption efforts are focused on low and mid-level government officials. According to its annual country reports on human rights practices, most high-profile cases being persecuted by the agencies remain pending before the court due to administrative or procedural delays. On February 16, President Muhammad Bari nominated Abdul Rashid Bawa to replace Ibrahim Magu as head of the EFCC. Bawa, a 70-year veteran of the commission, was the first chairman without a background in the Nigerian police force, the report read. The bulk of the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission and Economic and Financial Crimes Commission's anti-corruption efforts remained focused on low- and mid-level government officials, although both organizations brought indictments against various active and former high-level government officials. Many of the corruption cases, particularly the high-profile ones, remained pending before the court due to administrative or procedural delays. In January, the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Okubo Aboye, was sentenced to life in prison for accepting bribe in a high-profile kidnapping case in the Kisi State. This comes a few months after President Buhari admonished EFCC to avoid being used for partisan policies or getting dragged into personal disputes. I must advise the leadership and operative of the commission to resist the temptation of being used by used for partisan policies or be dragged into personal disputes. Your job is to serve the nation in its efforts to entrench good governance, he had said. Sources, however, told Sahara Reporter that the president was president was only crying or trying to silence the EFCC following the agency's encounters with some of his political associates, which which the affected chronic considered embarrassing. The national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC Bola Tinubu, and former governors of Imo and Nasarawa State, Rocha Sukrocha and Abdullahi Adamo, respectively, had all complained about the anti corruption agency in the course of doing its job. They accused the EFCC of being used by their adversaries as a tool for a political witch hunt. Adamu is the current national chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, after his victory through a consensus at the National Convention of the Party in March. E. Buhari is using that to silence the EFCC because Richard Okorocha complained recently. Adamu Abdullahi was embarrassed. Tinubu reportedly was forced to write a statement recently, one of the sources had said. During the meeting with Buhari at the presidential villa Abuja in February, Okorocha sought the intervention of his host over what he described as unjust harassment by the EFCC. Speaking to correspond after the meeting, he said, or he had said, I also use the opportunity to intimate the president of what is going on between me and Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the harassment and intimidation that I'm getting from the EFCC, literally on a daily basis, and to inform him that I have caught judgments and two court orders for different judgments as at different forums, which stop the EFCC from harassing and intimidating me. EFCC has refused to obey the law. And so I have to inform Mr. President the EFCC should be made to obey the law that established it. And without the law, there wouldn't be an EFCC. And the desperation with which they go about any affairs that concerning me should stop. And I reminded Mr. President that recall that some time ago, the EFCC had claimed that they recovered the sum of a 5.9 billion naira from my account, which the court found out to be untrue. In other words, they were biased and they prejudged me. On that basis, the court ruled and ordered that they should not further 
interrogate and harass me. This has not this has also not been obeyed. The court ordered the EFCC to release my international passports. The EFCC has refused to obey. The court gives damages to me for some 500 million naira for EFCC to pay. EFCC has not paid that. Rather than doing that, on the day of my declaration, EFCC went on the press to announce that I'm being prosecuted for some criminal charges of 2.9 billion naira and no more than 5 point nine billion naira. So I said as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and one that stands on the side of the law, he should bring this to the attention of the ESCC. Sahar reporters earlier reported how Adamu, the new APC national chairman who served as governor of Nasarawa between nineteen ninety nine and two thousand and seven, was in March twenty ten arranged by the ESCC at the Federal High Court in Abuja. In Lafia, the EFCC had instituted 15 billion naira fraud allegations against Adamu and others. Well, if you join APC, your sins will be forgiven. Your sins will be forgiven. Uh, that is what we were told by Honorable Oshomole. I neither saw where Buhari said this, no, where the US not EFCC, no, this is. Uh, well, how will you know your biggest customers are corrupt if you know that they are corrupt? Will you stop selling for them? A problem can only be solved at home, not abroad. God bless you for saying the truth. Hmm. Secrets don't open. All politicians in Nigeria should be investigated by the international community for terrorism. There's no future for this country called Nigeria, honestly. It's mere an instrument against political opponents. Have you not wondered why they put the young man in his thirties to head agencies that is fighting corrupt people in their seventies? Ah, the guy is over forty, not a not in in his thirties. Baba is in his forties. The U.S. that helped in installing the government, the one telling us otherwise. It is true they are doing it for. From top, from top to bottom, the U.S. the uh, U.S. should stop talking about Nigeria matter, whereby giving us false hope. We need them to act and change things for the betterment of all Nigerians. That's it. That is it. So, guys, let's say your opinion on what U.S. has said.